welcome to Pretty and Camel. Doing a video request that I had. I had mentioned this in a chat that I was in, I guess. And a friend of mine said, well, hey, do a video on it. It is a, a burger made out of a portobello mushroom. So you add lots of, I'm using margarine, you can use butter, whatever that you have. And I have a two pack of mushrooms. So I'm going to be doing this video and the um, how to make one of these into a, a mini pizza. So you take your mushroom and I break the stem off. And I also peel mine. Some people don't, personal preference, I do. When I used to go picking wild mushrooms, we always peeled them, so just, I guess, force of habit. Oh, and I broke it. That's okay. So you want your frying pan to be fairly hot, as you can see. And I put the mushroom in. The piece broke completely off, so I'll just put it in. Now what I do, I put the cover on my frying pan for a few minutes to let the, the heat go up into the mushroom. I'll put this over in our compost bucket. Got the heat turned up a little hot for it. Just keep flipping it until it softens up. It will eventually soften up and flatten out more. And you do have to be a bit careful because your butter or margarine will start to scorch, so you don't want it too hot. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'll be back when the mushroom is cooked. Hi, welcome back. As you can see, the, bur the mushroom has flattened into what looks very much like a burger. I'm just going to try and squeeze some of the moisture out of it. It squeaks and bubbles and makes strange noises when you do this. That is the mushroom, not me. So now that I've squeezed as much moisture out of it as I can, I just, I didn't have a hamburger bun, so I'm just using bread. Just put it on the bread with whatever you'd put on a, a burger. Make sure you turn your frying pan off. And I add a cheese slice. For me, with the burger, it's just basic ketchup. And I mean, you don't have to add a cheese slice if you don't want to. But that's how I like my burgers. So there it is. I used this part of the bread, the end part. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you call this part. We call it the heel, but different people call it different things. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you call this piece of the bread. And I'll be back when I do a taste test of it. Hi, I'm back with a taste test of my portobello mushroom burger. So it's set for a couple of minutes to let the cheese melt. So let's give it a taste.
I'm not going to fool you. It does not taste like, like a beef burger. But it, I love them. They're good. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it's a really easy option if you don't want to eat beef. And but still want a burger. Uh, they're, I want to say meaty. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they're good. I love them. Um, I do burgers out of them. I also chop them up and add them to scrambled eggs. And I make uh, like a pizza thing out of it. I'm going to be doing that later. But I just wanted to fill this video request for the, the Portobello burger. That's what it looks like. And my dog wants some, but as you know, hopefully you know, if you have dogs, dogs cannot have mushrooms. So he's not able to have a, a bite of this. But that's the burger. Thanks for watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the post bell button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.